Now, OnePlus just released a brand new open beta for both the OnePlus 3 as well as the OnePlus 3T. So I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to manually install this open beta onto your device. Now this will work on the OnePlus 3 as well as the OnePlus 3T. The instructions are both the same. You'll just need to make sure you download the open beta zip file for your specific device. And you'll find the links to those downloads as well as specific instructions for things like booting into recovery mode all included in the full tutorial which is linked in the description below this video as well as the card in the top right corner. So I'm doing this from a complete stock version of Oxygen OS if you have TWRP installed as your custom recovery, you're going to want to either manually flash the open beta zip file onto your device, which you likely are familiar with, but if you're not, just ask in the comment section below. Or you're going to want to return to stock Oxygen OS which again can be found in the full tutorial for this video. So after you have downloaded that open beta zip file onto your computer, you're also going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed there. And if you haven't already done so in the past, you're going to need the USB drivers for the OnePlus 3 as well. With all of that done, we're just going to reboot the OnePlus 3 into recovery mode. And again, this will work on the OnePlus 3T as well. It's the same steps. Once we're here, we're just going to tap on English. And then we're going to tap on the install from ADB option. And yes, we are going to upgrade Android from USB. So tap on OK. And that puts us into sideload mode. Once we have sideload mode set up, we're just going to connect the OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T to our computer with a USB cable. And we're going to turn our attention to the computer. We're going to open up a command prompt. And if you have minimal ADB and fastboot tools, you're just going to want to double click on that desktop shortcut to go ahead and launch a command prompt in the exact folder that you have ADB and fastboot tools installed into. And you're going to want to copy the OnePlus open beta zip file to that same folder that ADB and Fastboot is also located in. If you want, you can rename this file to something like openbeta.zip just to make it easier to type, but that's completely up to you. So we're just going to type out ADB space sideload space the name of that zip file so for me it's oneplus 3's oxygen os 16 ota 021 all yada 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 once that's done we're just going to press enter on the keyboard We're going to see a progress bar on the OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T and that correlates with this progress number right here. I 
I believe this is at least a one gigabyte file. Normally these firmware files that have the full software are about 1.4 gigabytes and up but it will depend it will vary depending on the version of oxygen OS that you're currently installing And once you get to that total expert, that means the process has been completed. You can then turn your attention back to the OnePlus 3 or the OnePlus 3T. Make sure that it says install success. And then tap on the reboot option. Once you see that the phone is starting to reboot, we can unplug the USB cable from the device. And we're going to see our OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T go through our first boot cycle with the open beta software installed. As usual, this first boot cycle is going to take a little more time than usual since we're dealing with a freshly installed version of Android. And that's going to boot us back into Android. As you can see, our data is still safe. It's still normal. Our launcher has changed. So now we don't have the app drawer icon. And instead, the, this version of Oxygen OS Open Beta is using a more pixel-like launcher. As you can see, we're on Android 7.1.1 and we're in the open beta of the OnePlus 3.
So that is how to install an open beta version of Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 3 as well as the OnePlus 3T.